During this demonstration, we will provide you with a step-by-step -step guide of how to take your blood pressure at home using an automated device. Before you begin your blood pressure check, there are a few important things to remember. When you first take your blood pressure, try to use the arm that your GP would use, or take two readings, one in either arm, and use the arm which is recording the highest reading. From then on, use the same arm. It is also important to remember to use a blood pressure machine which is validated and it will need to be calibrated every year. This is to ensure accuracy of results. You may want to bring your blood pressure machine into your GP or your local pharmacist to ensure that it is accurately recording. It is also important to use a blood pressure machine that is for your arm rather than for your wrist as these are more accurate. Before your blood pressure check, it is also important that you relax. So take a few deep breaths and sit for five to 10 minutes. For your blood pressure check, it is also ideal that you take your blood pressure on bare skin. So wear a short sleeve shirt or t-shirt, or you can wear a thin blouse or shirt. For your blood pressure check, sit on a seat that will support your back and enable you to sit upright. It is also important that you put your two feet firmly on the ground. For an accurate reading, it is also recommended 30 minutes before your blood pressure check to not have anything to drink, including alcohol or caffeine. It is also ideal that you have nothing to eat. You should also not smoke, not exercise or no bathing, again 30 minutes before your blood pressure check. It is recommended that everyone over the age of 40 years old has a blood pressure check every five years. And if you're on medication, you should have your blood pressure checked every year. This is with a health professional, either at your local pharmacy, your GP, nurse in your local GP surgery, or at a health check at Northern Ireland Chest, Heart and Stroke. To begin your blood pressure check, place the cuff on the upper arm with the plastic tubing facing down towards the hand. The cuff should be about two centimetres above your elbow to make sure it can detect the artery in your arm just under the skin. Rest your arm on a solid surface, such as a table, so it is at the same level as your heart, with the palm of your hand resting up. It is important that you sit still and do not talk during the test, as this can affect the accuracy of the result. During the test, when you are ready, press the start button on the blood pressure monitor. The cuff is pumped up to restrict the blood flow in your arm. This squeezing may feel a bit uncomfortable, but it will only last a few seconds. The pressure in the cuff is then slowly released, and during this time, the monitor uses sensors to detect vibrations in your arteries. The pressure in the cuff is recorded at two points as the blood flow starts to return to your arm. These measurements are used to give your blood pressure reading. After the test, once the monitor has fully released the pressure and provided a result on the monitor, remove the cuff from your arm. Take two or three readings, each about one to two minutes apart. If your first reading is much higher than the next, ignore it and take an extra reading. Once you have two to three readings, you can work out the average. Keep a record of your measurements and write them down exactly as they appear on screen. Blood pressure is measured in millimetres of mercury or MMHG. When your blood pressure appears on the screen, you will see a top number and a bottom number. Systolic pressure is the top number this is the pressure when your heart pumps blood through the arteries and around your body. Diastolic pressure is the bottom number. This is the pressure when your heart is resting in between beats. For example, if your blood pressure is 140 over 90 
or 140 over 90 mm hg it means that you have a systolic pressure of 140 mm hg and a diastolic pressure of 90 mm hg as a general guide ideal blood pressure is considered to be between 90 over 60 and 120 over 80. High blood pressure is considered to be 140 over 90 or higher and low blood pressure is considered to be 90 over 60 or lower. Try to take your blood pressure at the same time for each of the readings. If your average reading is consistently over 140 over 90, you should get it checked with a health professional, either with the pharmacist, your GP, or at a health check at Northern Ireland Chest Heart and Stroke. It is important to remember to not check your blood pressure too often, as some people find that they become worried or stressed about small changes in their readings. Small changes are normal throughout the day. Stress can also raise your blood pressure in the short term, making your reading higher than it should be. Don't stop taking your medications if your blood pressure falls. Always speak to your doctor before stopping your medications, even if your blood pressure has fallen to a healthy level according to your home monitor. Speak to a health professional if you are worried or have any concerns about your readings or home monitoring. And if you think that you may be having a stroke or a heart attack, call 999 immediately. In addition to taking your medication, if required, you can also make changes to your lifestyle to help reduce your blood pressure or maintain it at a healthy level. You can maintain a healthy weight, lower your salt intake, limit the amount of alcohol you drink, be more active, and increase the amount of fruit and vegetables you eat. If you have any queries about measuring your blood pressure at home, please speak to a health professional at your local pharmacy, GP surgery, or at Northern Ireland Chest, Heart and Stroke.